What's good, Crown Family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope the video will bring a little light to your day today, ladies and gentlemen. We finna check out the one and only Mr. Beast, and this is his newest video called $1 versus $100 million house. Let's go ahead and get straight into this, man. I ain't gonna hold you up. This is a $100 million mega mansion. And God it's damn. possibly the most luxurious house ever built by mankind. That and looks we're gonna beautiful, be man. Living in this house to living in this $69 million art house. That's built to withstand a literal tsunami. A 30 million oh, shout out to his editor. With this very own water park. And everything in between, all the way down to this one dollar barely functioning house. So who would buy any house? Well, it's only a dollar. Why does like, this very house cost a dollar? Yeah, we get another storm. It's probably gonna go into the water. Uh -huh. So it's worth a dollar for me to just to get rid of it. So you would say this is a horrible investment for me. Yes, indeed. Let's do it. I'll pay a Let's dollar for the house. Oh, oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> what are the odds? Wait a I minute, maybe not. Pretty high. <laughs> Bro, these are wobbly. I like how that chair is just like holding Yo. on for real life. We have a recliner, a mattress, and half a floor. That's I can a safety fish risk. from inside of the house. Yo, I caught one. Whoa. That's just a lure. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. Now that you see us having fun, do you regret selling it? I do not. What if I gave you $2 to buy it back off me? No. Nope. <laughs> He's like, now nah, you can have it. Let's get out of this house. Later in this video, we have a house that costs 100 million times more than this. And because I never plan on setting foot in this worthless shack again, let's head over to something a little nicer. I actually would have stayed in there. We're at the million dollar house, which technically means you need to be a millionaire to buy this house. Let's show you how a millionaire lives. My first impression is it's way bigger than my house. When you pay a million dollars, really? you get a pretty good bigger size Bigger than Mr. B's house? Along with four bedrooms that... So how big is this house? ...look normal, but they keep going because this bedroom has a closet here, which leads into a bathroom that is bigger than a one dollar house. This bathtub is gigantic. I'm six foot five, and I could fit in this perfectly comfortably. And even though the bathrooms are all That's stocked dope. with bidets... Oh, God! <laughs> the best Bro. seat in the house is definitely downstairs. Oh, snap! You have a movie theater. Dude, Ooh, these chairs are massage TV. chairs. Wait, what? <laughs> These chairs each have two remotes. Two remotes. On top of the movie theater, there's also an arcade. I was not expecting all these features for $1 million. Yo, this house is awesome. I would stay I'd in there. I have so much more friends if I owned a place like this. And ending with the pool, which comes complete with this unnecessary waterfall. Overall, I'd say <laughs> not this is unnecessary. a fun house to live in. But of course, we're all here to see the richest of the rich. And that's why up next, we have the 15 million... Sheesh. <laughs> 15 million dollar house. Are you pushing it? Oh my god. Oh, that's Jeez. so fire. I don't Bro, I love this that view. Like the house that you try to get to in GTA. Thanks. Definitely a GTA the house. The pool is much smaller than the 1 million dollar house, but you can literally oversee all of LA. Oh! Hey! Hey! Stop, stop. Go inside. I need new friends. Let's check out the house. The person who owns this house, what do you think he does for a living? Mm. Exactly. NFTs. That's He's what I be wanting to know. What they do for a, a living? A lawyer. This guy was the top attorney in 2017 and the number one lawyer in 2021. Apparently, that's all it takes to afford this house. It appears a note was left for us. Dear Mr. Beast, thank you for visiting my home. You have given me the ultimate gift. I have a trump card with my kids forever. Aw. Also, please don't eat any you of the sandwiches. They are very sacred to me, and my family's been passing it down from generation to generation. Got Wait it. a minute. Down or up? Down. Down it is. Okay, now it's starting to look nice. The lower floor of this mansion comes with its very own movie theater and personal gym. This treadmill requires a passcode to use. 6969. Six, it's not. Wait, is that the same house Kylie Dale moves in? 6969. Six, nine. A guest bedroom, entertainment area, and a bar where the owner left us a bunch of free food. Guys, it look like before it. you eat anything, yeah. what if he left this out so he could sue us for eating his food? Well, too late now, Carly. And an yep, incredible underground <laughs> view of the swimming pool. That's fire. Yo, that is fire. Woo! Nolan's trying to swim in the background for the shot. I don't think he realized we stopped filming him. Back again? Yeah, do it one more time. And now, a master bedroom with another crazy view. Bro, I love that view. With you the missed. glass fence. You got another one. Oh, missed again. Oh, wait, Nolan, stop it. Nolan, stop oh, this question Wait. Also. Stop. Ain't no way, boy. If it goes over the edge, he might sue me. And so, to avoid the court papers, we decided to fly got the money, all the way though. across the country to Massachusetts for the $30 million house. Yeah. This extraordinary 16-bedroom estate has four different buildings. 
in the main house there are multiple living rooms but this one you know how it for 30 million dollars it's pretty ugly is the best of the living rooms in this property this is grand what is this the oval office what book would you expect here besides the way to wealth by benjamin franklin girl made the light bulb and a book well edison made the light is that a crocodile death that was ben franklin i'm read this book <laughs> <laughs> Past the living room and the office was the grand kitchen, where the owner had left a little gift for us. The owner of this place yeah. got rich making candles, so he house made his like custom this. Mr. Beast candles. That one smells like the beach. It does. How do they put the beach in a candle? And to top off the house's main building, Chandler discovered that she can hit golf balls off the roof. Or... But that's not even okay. close to the coolest thing about this place. Because next door is a garage filled with yeah. cars. This looks Yo, like a garage video game. Yo, never mind. If the cars come with it, yeah, I buy the house. They got Lamborghinis <laughs> on top of Lamborghinis. Holy. It's like a candy store for adults. And the best part is Worst. this is just one of two car garages. Follow me. There's more? Bro, there's more cars in here than the other one. Holy crap. Yo, the cars right, probably cost more than the house. If we steal a car, he would not notice. How do you even buy these cars? Hey, I want three of the same ones. It's like exactly. a full-time job to buy this many cars. There's stairs in the corner. Let's see where they go. Bro, this is like a closet with cars. Underneath the car garage is another army of cars. They should really invest in a light switch down here. They have 20 cars down here, but no lights. Imagine. <gasps> Wait, I... No, no way. way. No. <laughs> Clap oh, on lights. No way. Oh, no. Oh, That's why there wasn't a light switch. I was like, who could afford to shove 30 cars in their basement, but not electricity? Exactly. No, all of the rooms in this house have been awesome so far. But if I owned it, I don't think I would ever leave this next building. This is awesome. What That's the right. heck? For some just ungodly an auditorium? Reason, whoever built this place and a thought tennis? it would be a good idea to install an entire indoor tennis court. I just want to remind you that we are playing tennis inside a house. I also have no idea how to play tennis. Bang squad, follow me. What? No way. Nah, that's cool. Oh, Not gonna hold you. But it, it looks extremely dated, though. In this house is actually 20 times bigger than the one in the one million dollar house. Whoa! But that's not all. Bro, this place literally has a everything. basketball right, I'm court. Never leaving. We're playing Holy. ping pong in a basketball court in a house. Might be worth the 30 million, but still a dated. First try, baby. All the features of the 30 million dollar house have been pretty cool, but this next room is what makes this place truly oh special. Oh my gosh! Now. Nah. The best part of that's this beautiful. Thing. What you really want to see is right over here. Look at this. This is an indoor water park. Whoa. Nah, like nah, that's worth it. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Is, it's still going. Go have fun, but don't break anything. Roger that. <laughs> Bro, that looks so fun, man. Holy. Indoor pool, bro. We're gonna enjoy the water park. I'll see you at the next house. The only bad news is it's across the entire country. The good news is it's a forty million dollar mega mansion. Whoa! Oh my gosh! This is like the most open million? house I've ever been in. What? I don't know what majestic thing this is. But it's beautiful. As you can look probably cool. tell, these houses are nah, starting to get so it. expensive. I don't even know that's how to describe style. them anymore. Honestly, lost for words. This is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I called in multi-billionaire Mark Cuban to help us out. How's it going? Of hey, course. Is, how's it going, little man? Nice Mark's start. also the proud owner of the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. And because this house has its very own basketball court, you can imagine we got a little distracted. Ah, Jimmy won't make it. Buckets. <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> fire. Just steal from Carl. Hit that! No shot. We got those! Yes! Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Easy lane. Yo, Mark, can I borrow your house for a couple days? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Next point wins. All you, hit it. Game winner. Just oh, want a little yeah. life a little bit. Yeah. Way to dominate, Jakers. Now we're going to show Mark around the rest of the house. Now that we're all sweaty. To find out if he thought it was worth the steep $45 million price tag. In case you're wondering, we didn't go swimming. You know, it looks like I did go swimming. <laughs> How much do they want for this house? 45. Oh, I thought that was his house. My bad. Because it's Brentwood, that's probably half of it. Is Brentwood what that is? No, <laughs> the neighborhood. I also thought he was talking I about the wood in the house. Wood. That's funny. This bathroom over here is nice. Do you have a couch in your bathroom? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. We need to get on Mark's level. The number one rule is you have to have a heated seat. That's it? That feeling when you sit down and you go. It is not cold. I agree. You don't need to make billions to be happy. You just need to be able to afford a bidet 
in a heated, heated toilet. seat one day. Heated seat one day. Even though I'm sure Mark would love to spend more time here on the toilets, our time here has officially ran out. So I'll see you guys at the next ah. house. Up next, we have a house whose price point happens to be a funny number. And now we are at the $69 billion mansion. 69. Looks like I'm a done. Villain owns it. it does look villainous. <laughs> Ain't How's no way that's 69 million dollars. It's a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> that can't be true. What's your address? <laughs> the reason why this weird looking house Bro? can still go on the market for 69 million dollars is because it's filled to the brim with priceless art and sculptures sourced from all around the world. Throw uh, up how much these artworks are worth and we're gonna try to guess it. How much do you think this is worth? Timmy. I'm gonna say 100,000. What do you think, Miranda? I'm gonna go with 80. Oh, she has one of these in her house. <laughs> yeah, I have <laughs> Only you know the actual price. Oh, wait, actually, this one will be a fun one. Oh, I'm gonna go with a million dollars. Because it's it. like right down the opening stairs, so. Uh, 450,000. Very precise. Very specific. <laughs> the $30 million house had a water park, 100 cars. This place. Just has artwork. Like, no offense, like, some art be so plain but cost so much, but I understand it's art. Big red sculpture thing. <laughs> this room over here, exactly, we promised like, them 30 times we wouldn't I get touch it, it, but <laughs> still. Not touching anything. Yes. What is it? This is a one-of-one, -one, fully analog, custom home sound system made by the creator of the Walkman, which was one of the first devices that allowed you to listen to music while walking. That's an impressive thing to have under your belt to made the Walkman. I don't think you could fit this under your belt. <laughs> I'm done. Let's traverse across the skywalk. Oh my god, I'm excited. Another reason why this house is built so strange, for example, having that to house walk across working, sky bridges though. to get anywhere, is because it's been meticulously built to be able to withstand the force of a real tsunami. I mean, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, wow. You can see that's the dope. tsunamis before they that. hit your house and you stop them. <laughs> <laughs> what completes the view is uh, the neighbor's backyard. You can see all of it. What if the man who lives here is secretly in love with the person that lives next to him? That's his ex-girlfriend. I'm done. Romeo and Juliet. And after checking Imagine. out the last two rooms inside, I had a surprise waiting for us outside. Look over there. What? These nuts. Ain't no way, man. No. He just got I too much money to spend, man. I paid man. these planes and also bought a thousand. <laughs> Mr. Beast, let me hold up. Billboards all across America to let everyone know that Feastables is the best tasting chocolate you can buy. Stop eating Hershey's and other Boomer brands. Feastables is modern chocolate. Also, because Halloween's coming up and all these retailers you see here, we're now selling these bags of these smaller Feastables bars so you can give them out during trick or treating. If you don't want to be lame on Halloween. Make sure you give away feasibles to trick-or-treaters. Luckily, our candy is very affordable, but you want to know what's not very affordable? The final house, Jeez. or should I say, the $139 million, arguably most luxurious Holy. house on the planet, Mega Mansion. This now that looks worth 36, it. 36,000 square foot mansion has things you'd My never goodness. see in any other house. From a nightclub to a T-Rex to an entire oh robotic my gosh, that's elevator, beautiful. this place is going to blow your mind. Oh and to make goodness. this house tour a little extra special, we brought Justin Timberlake. How you guys doing? And this is Justin's Justin house. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, of course. Holy crap. Have you ever seen a view better than this in your life? This is gorgeous. Yeah, man, you guys really, the CGI is perfect. It looks real. The CGI is crazy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, maybe it's top 10. I, I'd put it top five. It's hard to describe That's just how big this mansion really is. It has 12 bedrooms and 17 Clear. bathrooms split across three massive stories, all with a perfect view of the Los Angeles skyline. I always yeah, judge man. a house by the kitchen. Minimalist kitchen. You judge these things, how are you feeling? Um, well, let's keep going. At the end of the tour, we'll get his opinion on if he would pay $100 million. He has it on standby if he likes it. Straight cash, homie. Everything in this house is- I mean, I would if I was like a billionaire or something. Built out of the most expensive materials on the planet. For example, the walls in this room are constructed entirely out of rare marble imported straight from Italy. You guys gotta get an estimate or something of how much marble is actually in this house. I mean, that's a, that's like, Custom done. Yeah, there's not a single thing of drywall in this entire house. Drywall? <laughs> That's a pretty sick chandelier. This chandelier is over a million dollars, and the ceiling literally started dipping because it weighs so many thousands of pounds. Jeez. It really keeps going. You didn't tell me it was a million. I was playing with it earlier. Holy, that's a there's big chandelier. There's literally six million dollars of just chandeliers in this house. And the rooms God on the dang. bottom floor get even better. There's a whole other house down here. Exactly. Over here. I think this is literally an ice room. Is this where you lock me in? <laughs> Please don't. Yep. So, like, what are you doing here? You can literally let your whole family tree live in that joint with you. Probably a 50% chance 
we're locked in here because that doesn't have a handle. Oh no, we're good. That would have been oh. funny if we were. Oh, his face. <laughs> <laughs> He like, hold on now. Dinosaur? Now that you know the house has a dinosaur, are you more apt to buy it? <sighs> I'm still on the fence. I'm done. He's, he's just what? like, what? Oh, dinosaur is No one currently owns this house, so they put name tags of the few people on the planet that could actually afford it. Warren Buffett's worth like 80 billion, Ellison's worth like 50 billion, Bezos like 100 billion. Chandler, why is your name not up here? Oh. Ooh. That's my name, right, right there. Check out Right there, I seen it. The whips. No, no, you just posing. I'd just be sitting here. You really matched the house. Thank you. I was, I was going for that. Yeah. I was going for that. Job well done. No one's gonna go in the editing room and clip that. <laughs> Bro, this I love that garage. This million dollar car that elevator is, is one of the most insane features in the whole house. Basically, you select which car you want to drive on the tablet. Imagine. And it literally sends it up two floors right into the garage. I know what you're thinking. The main problem with this is it only stores six Lamborghinis. And yeah. You needed like a a 10 car storage. Yeah, right. you know. This house also old. had by far the biggest home theater I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. Whoa. This almost looks like a real movie theater. This is the best movie theater so far. Look and they're better actually reclining theater. chairs. It only costs 100 mil for that. <laughs> Check it out, Jimmy. Wait, what's it? Press my massage button. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I'm dying. Hey, I don't need this. <laughs> Where's one button? My chair's not even doing that. Here, switch. Let me see. Yeah, Chandler, test the massage feature. Oh, oh my I'm god. Dead. It works. There's no way this is just the only one here. Man, this is crazy, bro. What is this is not shake doing that hard. I'm dead. All right, lead the way upstairs. This is a primary bedroom over here. Hmm? Oh, and then over here, the bathrooms. In case you've ever wanted to shower with 10 people, <laughs> now you can. That's my thing, man. You can take a bath with no well, one, basically only you yourself. Know. But showering, you can fit an army in there. If that's what you're into. He is. <laughs> and now the best part of the house over at the pool. The real that reason this nice. house costs so much. I'm pressing it. Oh, is what this a heck? screen? It is absurdly large. Are you serious? Uh, a bit slow. It's slow. It gives Facts. drama, though. It is. Exactly. It's a very it gives a dramatic effect. Holy. That's fire. I thought it was going to be small. My goodness. I mean, it's a little bit of a flex. What a gorgeous view of LA. Huge flex. <laughs> yeah, imagine if the screensaver was LA. I think it is. It is. There's downtown LA, and there's downtown LA. For reference, That's pretty Carl's cool. like six foot five. Yeah, something like that, give or take. <laughs> and look how tall the TV is compared to. All right, Justin, you've seen the whole house. We need to know. Obviously, you have $100 million in cash sitting outside. Right. Are you going to buy the house? I think no it's one's pretty shirt comes it. With it. You don't like my shirt? Your shirt comes with it? Yeah. But the car has got to come with it. I'm in. <laughs> does, does, does the bear that ripped up the shirt come with it? <laughs> Not the bear. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, no. Let's go. Why? I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you around. To buy the house you just saw, check out 1200 Bel Air in Los Angeles. Man, I'm about to hit them up right now. I'm about to check my account, make sure I got enough in my bank. You know, I'm going to hit them up and be like, Trrr. I mean, like, you know, I only got about $10 on my account right now, but, you know, if I could put like $9 down payment you know <laughs> but that house is beautiful man holy moly man a hundred million though like i my thing is like i would never buy i don't care how much money i make in life i don't think i would ever want to buy a mansion and i i, I like i've never been like I, they look beautiful like i would like if it's like an air like if i could like rent it out for like a week or something like that i would do that you know but I would never buy like a mansion size house. Like I'm more of the I want something like just about, you know, about four or five bedrooms. I'm good. Four or five bedrooms, I'm good. Like just make it look I like the modern looking houses, you know, something I, I don't like a house with like a lot of bedrooms. I mean four or five bedrooms a lot. I think probably about like four is good for me, you know, but um, yeah, you know, I, I just would like a lot of land, maybe. A lot of land would be dope. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, uh, I think the I think the dollar house was actually worth it because you could literally refix that up <laughs> and just have your own little spot to go fishing in. I would have <laughs>
Oh no, oh, no, it probably wasn't worth it because you probably had to tear down the whole thing out. That would probably old as dirt, but yeah, man. Um, but y'all let me know in the comments, man. What y'all think? Do y'all want a mansion? Uh, I don't know. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty much on the fence. I, I've never been fascinated with wanting to buy a mansion, but that's just me. Y'all let me know in the comments. Hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video. Until next time, deuces.